Hey guys, Samuel Awoshalu here with TrafficIsKing.net and I want to share with you a five-part case study on local small business SEO and basically I'm going to share with you some of the steps that I use to take some of my clients all the way up to page one in the Google search engine result pages. Now keep in mind SEO is a great thing uh, and a great way to promote your business but it's not the only thing once you've mastered one uh, strategy of promoting your business then you want to look at other things also so don't forget you also have social media PPC video marketing and a whole other bunch of strategies that you can use to promote your site so just don't look to SEO as the only way to promote your site now what I'll be doing is in future case studies I'll be taking you through keyword research, link building, and uh, how to use link wheels and other tactics to help you get to that page one of Google. Now, in this case study, we'll be looking at a client that I'm working with. Uh, the client that I'm working with is based here in Atlanta, and he has a fencing company. And the first thing you want to do when you uh, when you're doing when you're starting off your SEO is you want to know who you're targeting so if you have a product or service you want to know who, who it is that you're targeting and you want to know what type of keywords or phrases that they're entering in the search terms are uh, in the search box to find you so uh, my client uh, uh, heritage fence uh, they make uh, they have fencing and they do they have all types of fences uh, they have wood fences, chain fences, and the people that they would target are mostly people that have residential homes uh, with backyards that are maybe looking for like a privacy fence. So those would be one of uh, his type, one of his target market uh, of, of individuals looking to find his services. So once you've uh, identified who who it is that you're going to target, then that's when the uh, keyword research starts. And in the uh, second case study, we're going to dive deeper into keyword research. Now, before you do anything, you want to start tracking all the traffic that's coming into your site. You want to know who's, uh, who's coming into your site, how did they get there, where did they come from. So the best thing to do before you do anything is to go to Google Analytics and place uh, an, an embed code in uh, your uh, HTML or into your source code. Now for Heritage Fence uh, I placed a Google Analytics code and you can see it right here and the code goes right above the body tag so that way um, uh, that code uh, will be recognized by Google Analytics and it can start tracking uh, your pages. So you want to make sure you put that on all of your web pages so that all your pages are tracked uh, by Google. I'm just going to take you, uh, give you a quick peek at the dashboard and just to see what uh, type of traffic uh, Heritage Fence has been getting. I've been working with them uh, for a few, few, few weeks to so almost a couple of months, and um, just to show you some of the the, the traffic stats here, uh, they've been getting about 251 visits uh, this month, uh, at least from the month uh, dated here. So on average, they're getting about 12, 13 visits, um, 14 visits. So it can be roughly uh, four to you know the highest, maybe 13 visits um, a day. Um, my goal is to get them uh, to double this, uh, to get that to 500 visitors uh, within a month, and um, increase their search engine traffic. So right now, search engine traffic is at 46%. So I want to increase that a little bit. And also here you can see their content pages uh, that are getting uh, where people are landing on the most. So wood is uh, usually the most popular for fencing because uh, people like to have wood privacy fences. So that's the one that's going to get uh, a lot of hits the most. So this is just to show you what the traffic looks like. You always want to make sure you're, you're, you're tracking your pages and you know uh, where your visitors are coming from. So that way you can uh, you can analyze and make adjustments as necessary. Now I wanted to take you to uh, the Google search box and just to show you one of the keyword phrases uh, that we've been trying to rank for was Atlanta fence installation. 
and just to show you kind of where we are on the search engine result pages uh, Heritage Fence is not on the first page let's check the second page okay so Heritage Fence is on the second page so we still have a little bit ways to go to get to that first page so that way it'll be a little bit more visible so uh, in the, in the next couple of case studies I'll show you exactly uh, what I do as far as keyword research uh, understanding what my competitors are doing what keywords or phrases they're using and then once I identify the keyword terms and phrases that I want to use then I embed it and sprinkle it all in the web pages of the of the site so that way uh, and in uh, the content of the, of the site so that way when Google spiders it it uh, knows that the site is relevant to what people are looking for and it can give it a little bit of authority on the search engine result result pages so make sure you stick with me uh, as I go through this uh, five-part case study on uh, SEO and in the next part I'll go a little bit deeper into keyword research and competitive analysis like to thank you guys for watching I'll see you soon